how to migrate from reCAPTCHA Classic to the latest version of Google reCAPTCHA. If you received an email saying Google reCAPTCHA keys will need to be updated, as in migrated, to a Google Cloud project by the end of 2025, and you're wondering how you can do that, this video session will inform you for this particular question. To be able to migrate version 3 or version 2 of Google reCAPTCHA, all you need to do is search Google with Google Cloud, log into Google Cloud using your Google account. Then on this screen, we can press on this here. Basically, Google Cloud wants us to create a new project. You can give a project name, but do keep in mind the ID will not be, you know, you can't change the ID later on. So whatever ID or project name you place here, you can't change the ID later on, okay, or the project name. Here it says location. In my example, I haven't added an organization. Do you need to, to migrate? No. So now let's go back because I've created a project. Basically, give it a name for the project. Change the ID if you want. In my example, I've changed it to this because it's more user friendly and understandable. So now once you create your project, let's press on dashboard. Here we can press on go to project settings. And for us to be able to migrate the current keys, first, let's take a look at privacy and security, because this will be absolutely important for some website owners, particularly if European data protection laws apply to you. You need to read through it and certify. So I won't cover all that because that's a straightforward process. Next. Do keep in mind the latest Google reCAPTCHA feature only allows up to 10,000 assessments per month. That means if you have a website or your client has a website that will require more assessments per month and you don't want any problems using the latest reCAPTCHA, then you need to add your billing details. And on the top right hand, we've got three dots. Let's press on Billing Account Management. Okay. As you can see for that project, I've added a Billing Details. That means if the assessment passes the 10,000 limit per month, the recapture keys will continue working. So that may definitely be of importance to you. Okay. So basically, once you create your project, you can always press on the menu, go to the main dashboard. To be able to migrate your current recapture keys, all you need to do is just visit, is just visit this link here, because that's the easiest way for me to show you that. Because as you work through it, all the user interface may get confusing it took me a while to learn all this so now we have settings right you can press on it learn more that's no problems here ideally we're looking at looking at our cloud console security recapture question mark project equals the project name you've created here Google says oh you want to test the the latest Recapture Live, you can actually do that. To be able to migrate your current keys on this URL, you'll actually see the keys that you're using through your classic dashboard, classic Recapture dashboard. So whatever the keys you are using for your setup, you'll actually see them 
here. Then all you need to do is press on upgrade key. Once upgraded, you won't be able to transfer this key to a different project. Okay, so this is very important. You just need to confirm it. Yeah. Since some rank your followers are small business owners, at this moment, to be able to use the key, the current key that you have, you can migrate. Yeah. When you do this, what will happen is you will continue using the same key. But if you're a small business owner and the previous keys, let's say you don't want to use them, then you can actually create a new project and create new keys as a new API keys. So you have that option as in credentials. As we can see, create credentials. Basically, you create a new key. So if you don't want to migrate, that option is still available if you want to choose that. I thank you for learning with Rankia. And if you've got any questions or comments, use this video commenting section. And I'll talk with you in the next video session.